encounter a demon and you say, come out of the man, and it don't, something wrong with you, not the demon. To perfect for the work of the ministry. Alcohol is not a generational curse. You were free. Curses, I said. The old timers called it the sanctification process. It's called taking off the old man and put on the new man. And all the fiery darts, but you need a sword in your hand. You need to lock and load with the word of God. Get that word of God off your shelf or out of your sheath and raise it up against the enemy and tell the enemy, not on my watch, not in my city, not in my house. I'm not raising up a bunch of spiritual warfare weirdos. I'm raising up an army of men and women of God that will march through the land, lay hands on the sick, individuals forged in the fire of Pentecost, and that will go into the far flung corners of the globe. Square your shoulders back. Lift up your head. You were born for the battle. You was built for the conflict. And greater is he that is in you than the devil that is in the world a bunch of spiritual warfare weirdos talking about generational curses every single minute they talk. I'm talking about a man and woman of God who will stand their ground and say we have victory in Jesus' name. Victory in Jesus' name. Forged in the fires of Pentecost. And now will take their index finger, put it under the nose of the adversary and tell them to get out of my house. Get out of my mind. Get out of my kids. Get out of my church. Get out of my city. There's a new sheriff in town. We are called to hold our ground. We are called to occupy until Jesus comes.